Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. In this deep dive, we'll be looking at over 40 prints of good cats and bad cats, as depicted by 13 different Japanese artists from the 1700s to the late 1800s. But first, some history. Cats were originally imported to Japan from China, starting in the 8th century. They often appeared in Japanese poems and novels as a pet of aristocrats. They were also used on farms to protect rice and silkworms from rodents, and they could be found in temples, stopping mice from eating religious scrolls. As such, cats have long been considered a good luck animal, and in Japan you can often see the maneki neko, a luck inviting cat, at many homes, shops, and restaurants. You'll notice that many cats in Japan have short tails. It's a genetic trait common in many parts of Asia. According to statistics, 30 to 40% of Japanese street cats have short tails. Okay, with that history and genetics out of the way, let's get into the prints. We'll work somewhat chronologically through them. Starting with good cats. In 1768, Suzuki Harunobu designed this print of children with a cat and mouse. You can see the cat intently looking at the pet mouse that the girl has tucked in her kimono. Here's another by Harunobu of Osen of the Kagiya Tea House and a young man with a cat from 1769. The artist Kitagawa Utamaro, famous for his prints of beautiful women, could also draw scruffy cats as in this print, Woman Sewing and Playful Kitten from 1797. And this print from 1803 of Women After the Bath Playing with a Cat. Next, the amazing artist Katsushika Hokusai drew these detailed cats facing off in one of his many manga sketchbooks. Utagawa Toyokuni I did this interesting print of a woman playing with kittens Notice the red ribbon around the cat's neck. This was a common decoration that you'll notice in many prints. The ukiyo-e artist that did the most cat images has to be Utagawa Kuniyoshi. He was famous for his love of cats. His students often described him as being surrounded by them in his studio. Here we have his print of a chubby cat called Printed Cat to Keep Mice Away. Another by Kuniyoshi, the daughter of Dainagon Yukinari from the series Lives of Wise and Heroic Women from 1842. Notice the cat is knocking over the brushes in order to catch a butterfly. But if you look closely, I think the butterfly has been painted by the woman. Next, the print Gold Beetle from the series Selected Insects from 1843. It features a woman combing a sleeping cat's hair. Here's a beautiful, vibrant print. Famous products of the provinces with women's postures. This title is Ouch! That Hurts! as the cat climbs up her kimono. This impressive triptych by Kuniyoshi is cats suggested as the 53 stations of the Tokaido. So each cat's pose here represents a stop on the Tokaido road. This imaginative print is from a series featuring cats spelling out the hiragana characters of fish. In this case, ka at the top, then tsu, and then o, katsu o, the word for bonito or skipjack tuna. In the 1840s, the shogunate enacted reforms that led to strict censorship. It was illegal to show identifiable likenesses of actors and courtesans in any prints, so Kuniyoshi portrayed them as cats, as a way of getting around that. This print shows actors in a scene from the play The Stinky Sleeve, a tale about the Genji clan and Heiki clan who fought one another during the Heian period. This is a parody of Umegae striking the bell of limitless hell, with a cat impersonating a female kabuki character. She struck that amazing looking octopus on the head with a wooden scoop, and now mackerel are falling from the sky. 
Here is a print by Utagawa Yoshiiku from the series Modern Parody of Chushingura. It shows seven famous kabuki actors portraying characters in the play. And although they all look like cats, a fan of the actors would easily be able to tell who is who. Here is a fun print by Utagawa Yoshifuji, a student of Kuniyoshi's. Small kittens join to form a big mother cat, done in 1847. This next print is the one that first interested me in Hiroshige when I was in high school. The 1857 print Akasaka Rice Fields and Tori no Machi Festival from the series 100 Famous Views of Edo. And here we can see cats in different poses from Hiroshige's sketchbook. I think Hiroshige's cats are the most dumpling-like with their round chubby bodies. Hiroshige's influence extended to his student Hiroshige II. Here's a fan print from him of a white cat playing with a string from 1863. The artist Atsukioka Yoshitoshi also featured cats in several of his prints. Here's Looking Tiresome from the series 32 Aspects of Customs and Manners. In this print, it could be that the cat is the tired one. And another from that same series called Looking Warm. I honestly have a hard time understanding where this cat starts and stops. I know that's an ear sticking out, but how it's curled up is a mystery to me. This is also Yoshitoshi from the series 24 hours in Shinbashi and Yanagibashi. A geisha is checking her hair in two mirrors, while in the background a cat stretches in the doorway. And here is a print from Kunichika's series 36 famous Tokyo restaurants of geisha Some of Yanagibashi holding a cat. Now let's look at some prints of cats fighting their traditional enemies, rats and mice. Here is a beautiful image by Hokusai of a cat with a mouse in its mouth from one of his manga sketchbooks. These two prints are from a comic series called The War of Cats and Mice by Yoshitoshi. Kawanabe Kyosai created this simple print of a cat and mouse in 1870. And here a huge rat attacks a cat from the artist Ogata Gekko from 1898. Okay, enough with the good cats. Now let's talk about bad cats. It's easy to see why cats made popular demons. Their eyes change shape and glow in the dark. Their fur can cause sparks due to static electricity. They have sharp claws. They hunt silently at night and they are very disobedient. Let's start with a print by that student of Kuniyoshi, Yoshifuji. Here's another one of his creative cat collages, the supernatural cat of the Tokaido. One of the most evil cats is the Bakeneko, a supernatural cat. It can shapeshift into human form. One famous Bakeneko story is about a man named Takasu who lived with his mother. One day his pet cat went missing and his mother's personality started to change. His mother avoided the company of friends and family and would eat alone in her room. One day the family checked in on her and saw a cat monster wearing the mother's clothes and chewing on dead animals. Takus Takasu ran in and killed the cat monster and the, the dead monster's body turned back into his pet cat that had been missing. Takasu then ripped up the floorboards of his mother's room and found her skeleton with her bones gnawed clean of all flesh. Since this is such a popular story, it's been made into many kabuki plays and therefore been illustrated by many artists. This triptych by Kuniyoshi does a good job of illustrating a lot of the aspects of the evil Bakeneko. It's from the play The Spirit of the Cat Stone. You can see the cat demon spirit in the background. The spirit has possessed or shapeshifted into the woman's body. She has cat's ears and claws. On the far left, notice the shadow of the cat's face on the lantern. It's a bit hard to make out, but the cat is licking the oil from the lamp, which cats actually did in those days since it, since it often contained fish oils. Also, you'll see a couple of dancing cats, which was a popular myth that cats would wear napkins and dance. 
Here is a very similar print by Kuniyoshi. You can see the possessed cat woman, the dancing cats, and the shadow of the cat on the lantern. Fun fact, the actor that often played the role of the cat woman is, is Onoe Kikugoro III. He went into retirement shortly after this performance. In his retirement, he ran a mochi shop called the Kikuya, but unfortunately he got sick and died the following year in 1848. I, I don't think any cats were involved. Here's another by Kuniyoshi, the old story of the Okazaki cat demon in an old temple from 1850. Here's a great print by Gunte Sadahide showing Onoe Kikugoro III as the cat witch of Okabe on the Tokaido road. During the day, she looks like an old innkeeper, but at night, she licks oil from a lantern and turns into a demon cat. Next, from Kunisada, we have this triptych titled The Village of Yatsuhashi at Okasaki. This fantastic print is from Kunisada II, the cat witch Ama Miochin from the series Biographies of the Eight Dog Heroes. Behind the thin bamboo curtains, you can see the cat's hairy body and huge claws. And here's one from Toyohara Kunichika from his 36 Good and Evil Beauties series called The Vampire Cat of Nabeshima. Once again, her shadow cast by the lantern on the screen reveals her true demon cat form. And another from Kunichika, the actor Onoe Kikugoro V playing the cat demon of Okazaki from the series 100 Rolls of Baiko. This scary print is by Kuniyoshi. It's Okabe from his series 53 Pairings Along the Tokaido Road. It shows the cat witch of Okabe and her female victim. Next is uh, Shirasuka from Kunisada's 53 Stages of the Tokaido with the ghost cat played once again by Onoe Kikugoro III. And here is a print by Chikanobu, the cat ghost of Saga. In this story, the cat appeared at night and in order to catch it, the samurai stayed awake by poking a small knife into his thigh every time he felt sleepy. When he finally saw the shadow of the cat ghost, he killed it with his sword. Okay, one last bad cat to show you from the collaborative Kunisada series, Flowers of Edo and Views of Famous Places. I believe Katsushika Isai did this wonderfully demonic fire-breathing cat. Wow. That brings us to the finish of good and bad cats. Even though I put them into good and bad categories, I ask you, do cats really care? I think not. But it's nice to be reminded that our fascination with all types of cats is universal. If I missed one of your favorites, please let me know. Until next time, like and subscribe, and happy collecting.